With legs like that, forget flamingos. Meet the Ai'o, or Hawaiian stilt, a resident of wetlands, marshes, mudflats, and open fields throughout the Hawaiian Islands. The Ai'o is simply unmistakable. Their bodies are a unique combination of a dark black above and a flashy white below. This bold tuxedo sits atop two legs that are pink and, well, as you can see here, very long. Those distinctive legs work with their long neck and slender body to give the I.O. a tall stature. Their height allows them to wade in various depths of water and grants them a constant vantage point over their prey below. They might look silly to you, but to small fish and aquatic invertebrates, they're death from above. Prey is spotted by those big red eyes and snatched up by that thin, needle-like bill which, like most shorebird bills, is highly sensitive thanks to many built-in sensory receptors. I.O. can also forage by sweeping their bills across the water, feeling around for any potential prey. Their unique size and shape truly allows them to effectively locate food. Another unmistakable element of the I.O. is their vocalizations. They can be loud. Very loud. I've even heard the nickname Pond Poodle get thrown around, although the stilts don't seem happy about this and neither do the poodles, but eh, here we are. I.O. were fairly social birds, often preferring to gather in small flocks, or at least in pairs. If the habitat is of high quality, which is judged by the I.O. of course, larger feeding flocks of over 50 individuals may also occur. They're generally pretty friendly birds. Culturally, the I.O. are a very highly regarded species. This tree, called Ohe Makai, or Polysia sanusensis, was used to create wooden stilts, or kukulu ai'o, which were walked on as a makihiki game. The ai'o were also seen as kinolau, or manifestations of a god, in this case, ku, the god of war, fishing, farming, and politics. One story, or mo'olelo, even explains that the early morning call of the ai'o was a signal for fishermen and canoemen to travel. And for all of you, um statue enthusiasts? There's a giant metal Io statue on the Kaneohe Marine Corps base. The Io is truly an icon. <laughs> it's like a marshmallow with legs. Nesting lasts from March through August, peaking in May and June. During these nesting periods, the protection of the I.O. is critical, as they are, like most of Hawaii's native wildlife, currently classified as an endangered species. The same issues that threaten the Alaiula, like habitat loss, avian disease, and predation from introduced mammals, also affect the I.O. The good news is, I.O. populations have remained fairly stable in the face of these threats. Today, around 1,600 individuals can be found at various wetlands and marshes across the state of Hawaii. Although, new research involving GPS satellite tags indicates that these birds are also making substantial use of man-made habitats, mainly wastewater treatment plants and sports fields. This guy here was observed near a playground on the Marine Corps base. If you'd like to help our tall, talkative friends, you can start by simply learning about them. I've provided links to research and other references in the description of this video. These charismatic birds have lived in the islands for far longer than we have, and with our help, will live with us for generations to come. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Breadcoop.